All right. So here we are with the uh, Hoggy's glassware collection, as of course requested by Dennis. You know, I don't, I don't take well at challenges, but uh, anyways, since you challenged me, here's the video. Um, my collection isn't that big. I couldn't start growing it until I moved because our last apartment had very limited cabinet space, so I couldn't, I couldn't just get everything I wanted to get. So this is what it looks like now. So <clears throat> let's see, where do we start? Start over here, I guess. Uh, my tulip pints. I don't use these too much, but I got the uh, Beamish. I don't remember if I've used that in any of the reviews, although I, I did use it in the Beamish uh, Nitro Pour video I did a long time ago. And I got uh, two of the Guinness, the Guinness uh, Tulip Pints. Actually, I got them both from the Ale House, um, and that was actually one of my first glasses ever because we went one day and they kind of had a special, uh, if you buy a blacksmith, which for those that don't know is a uh, black and tan style mix of Smithix and Guinness. It's called a blacksmith. And if you get one of those, um, you get to take home the glass. So I took home the glass. I went back about a week or so later, ordered another blacksmith, and the special was over. I couldn't take the glass, so I still took the glass. Benefits of uh, having a girlfriend with a big purse. But anyways, so the Beamish, the Guinness, and the Guinness, they're all the same. I also have Sam Adams um, tulip style pint glass, which I never use. I might get rid of that. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought that. But um, I have one of my favorites. This is my uh, Nonic British pint. And I'll try to get up close if you can see it. I don't think the lighting's going to let it uh, come out good. But it's got the, uh, the royal mark or whatever uh, for the line, for the pint line and the half a pint line. So that's really cool. I like that one for like British beers and stuff. Then I also have this uh, Brooklyn glass. This is new. This was actually given to me by my buddy Howard, the manager over at Hurricane Wings. Cool little glass. I like Brooklyn, and uh, I don't know, I just happen to like this glass. I don't know why I was drinking um, a lot of Red Seal out of it, and it just, it works well. So I like that. That's a cool little glass. Let's see. Speaking of Howard, he's the reason I have the Chimay glass. This came from him as well. I've never had Chimay. Plan to try it soon and do the review. Belgian beers just really aren't my thing. So whenever I get around to it, I'm ready with the really nice uh, Chimay glass. Um, let's see. We have a snifter. Picked this up at ABC. It cost me a few bucks. It's a cheap one, but it's a nice one. It's it's you know it's nice, it's big, it's comfortable. So that's my cool little snifter there. Um, I got a bunch of of uh, pint tumblers. I'll leave those for last. I'll go with this guy. I rarely ever use this for beer. This is just you know generic uh, bar you know bar standard uh, glass. But I think this followed me home from like Fridays, you know happy hour night. God knows how many years ago. It was kicking around, and I just cleaned it up, and I used it for beer on a couple of occasions, and, you know, whatever, I keep it around. I consider it a beer glass just because a lot of bars or restaurants will still serve you a beer in one of these. So, we have that guy. Um, let's go over here. Let's go here. I got four more of these. These are hand-blown goblets from Pier 1. This one in particular I refer to as my IPA goblet. You've seen it in a lot of reviews. I only drink IPAs out of this. And I only review my IPAs out of this glass. Just to kind of put them all in a level playing field. But um, it's a hand-blown goblet. I got four more because I wanted a complete set plus a spare. They're all slightly different, you know, thicknesses and, and whatever, just because they're hand-blown, which is kind of cool. They were on clearance, so I got the last of them. But uh, anyways, yeah, the IPA goblet. Love that thing. And then I've really grown to love this. This is the Holy Macro glass, of course, from the Holy Macro beers. Brewed here in Florida. Nice gold rim, nice looking goblet. You know, it's, it's got some nice work to it. Now, I like it. It has some heft to it. It feels good in the hand. I've actually taken to drinking a lot of IPAs out of this one as well. So that's a cool glass. I like that one there. Um, over to the mugs. I'm not a huge fan of mugs. This, and a lot of people may have one that looks like it. This is, this is that cheapo Walmart mug that I just picked up for the hell of it. I'm not a big fan of it. The edges are rough. It's just, I don't know, I don't like it. And that's why I usually drink a lot of foul beers out of it. I call it the sacrificial mug because it's whatever. I just have it there. One day I'll probably get a nicer mug, but like I said, I'm not a big fan of mugs, so we'll see. Um, make some space, put it over here. And then, of course, this guy. I love this guy. This is my big-ass mug. My mom got me this, actually. And she has another one 
She actually got two of them. The other one's still at her house. But it's my big ass mug, dollar store mug. But it's, you know, it's nice. It's big. It's hefty, and it fits 22 ounces almost perfectly. So you can pour a bomber right into this. And that's usually what I do. You've seen this in quite a few reviews when I uh, do a bomber, the Lagunita stuff, which I have a, another Lagunitas beer I'm going to be doing soon. So there's that. Um, so yeah, my big ass mug. Love that guy. Um, my Pilsner glass. I really, really like this glass. It's my Pilsner glass. I picked it up at uh, ABC Fine Wine and Spirits, just like my Snifter. It's actually the second one because I broke the first one. I put it in the drainer next to the sink after I washed it upside down and it tipped over and I had to go get myself a new one. But that's my Pilsner glass. Makes my Noble Pills taste so much better. And uh, over here, my Weizen glass. Nothing special. Cheapy Weizen glass from the from the dollar store again. You can tell it's, you know, it's it's kind of a cheapy, but it has a nice heft. It's not that thin. It's a good glass. And I don't drink a lot of Weizens, so whatever, whenever I get a wheat beer, got myself a glass for it. Um, over to these guys. I got two of these. The ever popular Samuel Adams sensory glass. The Boston Lager Sensory Glass. Again, these are gifts from Howard at Hurricane Wings. I told him I wanted one. He got me a couple. So that's really cool. Um, the best one is the one that I have at Mom's. And if you ever watch my review for the Lobster Ale, you get to hear that story. I took her out for her birthday to Red Lobster. And I ordered a Sam Adams. And they bring it to me in one of these glasses. Except, instead of Sam Adams, it has a little lobster. But, you know, on the back it said, uh, you know, trademark Samuel Adams or whatever. So I guess they licensed it out to Red Lobster. But... Whatever, I always thought that was hilarious, but I left the glass with her. So, I got two of the sensory glasses, and I, it's amazing. They really do make the beer taste better. So, those are cool. Again, thank you, Howard. <clears throat> now, on to the pine glasses. And you may notice that I don't have a lot of glasses, you know, with um, brewery logos. Again, I don't have a liquor store that will sell, like, sets. So, that's one of the reasons I don't have a lot of those. Another reason is... I'll only buy or pick up a glass from a certain brewery or beer if I really like it. Because I'm just anal about drinking a different beer. It's like I can't drink like a dogfish beer out of a rogue glass. It's kind of weird to me. So if I really like it, I do get it, which is why I have my dead guy glass. I love that glass. And I love dead guy. And my Sam Adams glass on the uh, back of the inside. You can see it's, it's what's inside. That's what it says. And I drink a lot of Sam Adams. Love that glass too. My Hurricane Wings glass that I purchased. Hurricane Wings on one side, sadly Budweiser on the other. That was when I first got to Vero. And then Howard the other night hooked me up with the original Hurricane Wings glass that does not say Budweiser. And this is a thick, heavy glass. You can tell it's made for bars. But this is real cool. I'll, I'll treasure this one because I just love Hurricane Wings, especially the one in Fort Pierce, the original. So, thank you, Howard. Um... Cheapy, simple, clear pint glass from Publix. Supermarket glass, but again, no logo on it, so it's a nice, simple glass. This is my Tommy Knockers glass. I just bought this uh, about a month ago because I got another one from the Tommy Knocker uh, for the Tommy Knocker Maple Brown Ale because my buddy loves it. I got him that one as a birthday present, and I bought myself this one with the um, brewery logo on it for myself just because, you know. Moving on over here, got my Bell's glass because I just love Bell's. Great brewery. I drink all of the, their beers out of this glass except for the IPA for reasons previously stated. So my Bell's, uh, you know what that's say? Bell's Brewery, inspired brewing. Good stuff. We come over here to, actually let me do this one first. Sorry for the jittery camera, guys. Uh, but this is my Titanic glass. You've seen this in quite a few reviews. This is from the Titanic Brewery in Miami, Florida. I love that place. They brew some good beer. The food is really good. And ever since I moved, it's one of the places that I've been missing the most. I love to go there for like a burger and an IPA. It's just good stuff. Their beers are fresh. Good, good stuff. <clears throat> if you're in Miami, check them out. Anyways, on to the last two here. This is my Victory Glass from Victory Brewing. I've never had a beer from Victory. I'm holding off. I want to get that Hop Devil and that Prima Pills. But, uh... They're distributed by Budweiser, and we're having a problem in this area of getting beers that are at or past the freshness date. So I'm not going to be drinking Victory until that problem is corrected. But again, thanks to Howard, I have a glass waiting for when I get it. 
And also thanks to Howard, a glass I'll probably never use, or uh, especially in my reviews because it's obviously not clear. It's the Abita Purple Haze Glass. Um, again, a gift from Howard. I can't say no to that. I pretty much gave it to my girlfriend because she loves the color purple and she loves Purple Haze and Jimi Hendrix, so it's hers by default. I'll probably never use it, but it's still a cool addition to the collection. Um, so there you have it, guys. Huggies Glassware. What can I say? I love my beer, and now that I have cabinet space, this collection will be growing. So, uh, Dennis, thanks for the challenge. It was fun doing this, and thanks to everybody for watching. Take care, guys.